stop wait before you continue with the video make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button and also comment and interact man you know what i'm saying if you want to hit the uh dislike button that's cool too also hit the description click the link come join us over truckers getting fit and our fat man we got a good movement going on over there um you can also follow me on twitter trucker name j you can send me an email uh at uh trucker name j at yahoo.com and yeah man enjoy the video but, but again hit the subscribe button what's going on youtube it's your boy trucker name j checking in checking in man whoo past another dot physical man oh man um i don't really know how to feel like i mean it's it's, it's an exciting feeling um it's definitely something that's uh I'm proud of, you know what I mean? Uh, it was just, because it, I don't feel like I was as nervous about this DOT physical as I've been about other DOT physicals in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in the past, it was a situation where, you know, I felt like I had to do a lot of uh, preparation and and just, 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 you know, overdose on my blood pressure medication or, you know, just do a bunch of crazy things to make sure that I pass, you know, weeks leading into, you know, you can always tell when someone is, is about to take their DLT physical because, you know, they may start talking about health. They might start making sudden uh, drastic changes, um, you know, but like weeks and months leading up to it. And, you know, I've been kind of working on my health since, you know, November of last year for other reasons. So, it's just nice that when the time came for the DOT physical um, to happen, I just didn't really have to scramble. It was just kind of more of the same of what I was already doing. You know what I mean? Just drinking water, um, just being more cautious of what I put in my body, um, and, 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 and just, you know, more of the same. So when I passed, I got my paperwork right here. Uh, I got a one-year card. I'll never be able to get more than a one-year card while as long as I have high blood pressure, so I'm cool with that, but you know what? I, I passed, man. You know what I mean? Um, they didn't really say nothing about anything. You know what I mean? It wasn't like no issue about... Normally, they would say something about the protein in my urine. They didn't say anything about that, which makes me think that that's getting better, which means my kidneys are improving, uh, which kind of goes with um, what I was told when I went to the hospital last time how my uh, creatine levels are coming down and normalizing. Um, you know, my blood pressure was 138 over 82, um, which is still like right there on the limit. But for me, that's definitely a lot lower. So my blood pressure continues to come down and, and normalize as well. Um, and, you know, I just feel better, man. I feel better. I'm more optimistic about my health. Um, but at the same time, I still know I got a long way to go. You know what I mean? Um, it's just... You got to appreciate the small things, small victories and when this health journey, um, the dude that it was a, actually it was funny because it was a uh, well, not funny, but it was a, a gentleman, uh, Caucasian, uh, look like he's in his 40s um, that went before me. and He only got a three month car and he was livid. I mean, he was very livid. You know, he was in there like, wait a minute, how I only got a three month card and I see all these other big truck drivers and they can barely climb out of their truck and da da da. And you know, he was just very upset that um, I think it was his blood pressure because uh, it's a very small office that I went to, so you could kind of hear. Um, but it was it was his blood pressure um, that was, uh, you know, kept him from getting a longer car and and mine was normal. So, um, you know. It doesn't matter how big you are. You know, we laugh and joke and, 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 and get on fat truck drivers like myself. But you got a lot of normal sized truck drivers who have health complications and uh, uh, health complications that keep them from driving the truck. So it's all fun and games until you the one being told in the uh, in, in doctor's office that you can't get, you know, longer than a three month card or a six months card. And some trucking companies out here, um, believe it or not, if you can't get at least a one-year card, they will not hire you or they will not keep you. That is a requirement for some companies. I'm sure it's an insurance thing and all that, but you know, some companies, if you get a three-month card or a six-month card, they'll continue to let you drive and stay on with them. But it is some companies out there that if you get a six-month card, they'll tell you, hey, we can't do nothing with you. You gotta have at least a one-year card.
trust you me they are out here so just take care of your health man you know i'm not you know gonna lecture anybody about their physical uh health um or mental health because i still got a long way to go on my journey um but all i'm just trying to do is just make you a little bit more aware of what you're doing to your body you know what i'm saying um as i continue my journey continue to lose weight and be healthier um you know I just want to try to advocate it while I can, you know what I'm saying? And, and the big thing for me isn't just weight loss. I think that's the, the misconception about weight, I mean, uh, uh, being healthy, you know. It's more than just losing weight on the scale, you know what I'm saying? Because you can lose weight on the scale and still have health issues, certain health issues. I know people uh, are way smaller than me with high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, kidney diseases, uh, uh, liver issues, uh, uh, lung cancer. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's not always uh, dictated on you on your on the scale, the weight, the number on the scale. So I don't want people to keep thinking that oh, just because I'm smaller, I don't got to worry about health issues. It's that's not the case. It couldn't be further from the truth. You know what I mean? So, um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got. I'm just happy to still be here, um, physically, mentally. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just happy to be improving because at the end of the day, that's all one can really hope and, 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 and pray for is just improvement. You know, a step closer to a goal is, 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 is appreciated. You know, I'd rather, you know, taking a step further than a step back, you know, and I've had plenty of setbacks, step backs, whatever you want to call it, um, in my life. So I got to appreciate the small step forwards that I get, you know what I mean? So. You got you guys are stuck with me for at least another year driving trucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um as always, man, you know what it is. Stay safe, stay positive, stay productive, man. God family trucking. I check you guys next video, man. Go.